In today's video, we are going to implement these background lights, this lamp, and these meteors. All of these components are part of one really cool library that I'm using a lot lately. You probably already guessed which one it is. It's Asternity UI. I'm going to walk you through how exactly to implement this library and three components. First one, Aurora background. Second one is the lamp. And the third one, these meteors. Let's go. Implementation of Asternity components is pretty easy. It's similar like ShedCN. You pretty much take the component and put it inside your code. So I'm going to click on Aurora background and here we need first to install these dependencies. So it's Framer Motion, CLSX and Tailwind Merge. Those are pretty much the packages that you are going to have on your project, especially if you're using ShedCN. I'm going to open my terminal, so this is my Next.js directory, and I'm going to add these three dependencies. That one is installed, so we can go to the next step and we can create the CN file. You are going to have this if you have ShedCN on your project. We are just going to create the utils folder inside the root directory and there the cn.ts file. Then I'm going to copy paste everything from here. Next thing is the Tailwind configuration. So we are going to copy paste again this one here in our Tailwind configuration file. Then we need the animation part and keyframes. So this whole thing we should put inside the extend. And plugins should have this function for adding variables and colors. And we should just copy also that function here. And that step is done. Next one. Only thing left is to copy the source code exactly like in ShedCN and put it inside our components. So I'm going to create a new folder, call it components, and I'm going to follow the UI way. So I'm going to create UI directory and inside Aurora background.tsx. So here I'm copy pasting the entire component and now we can implement it in our project, just like that. Now, everything we need to do is just to put it inside our layout. So here we can call for our Aurora background and we are going to put the children inside that component. And now when we go to our page, I'm just going to remove all these default things by Next.js and I'm going to put age one test and let's see what we got. So there it is. We have our Aurora background component. This one is really bringing your application to the next level. And also check this out. It's pretty much flexible, so you can do to it whatever you want. We can put the class name, for example, if you have dark mode, we can put something like gray 900 and it looks really awesome also. Look at this. It's even better in dark mode than in light mode. Let's implement next one, the lamp. So we are just going to find it here inside the components. Here it is. Now it's much easier. We don't have to do anything. We have also, we have the dependencies, we have the CN. Everything we need to do is just to put the lamp inside our components. So here I'm going to create lamp.tsx and then just copy paste the entire code. Then here I'm just going to create a new page. I'm going to call it lamp and inside I'm going to create page.tsx for new page. Here I'm just going to copy paste the entire page from Aurora background and instead of the heading I'm just going to put lamp demo which is coming inside the lamp component and there you can basically do whatever you want. You can change the transition, the colors, the text. I can say my orcish lamp and that's it. 
Now it should work when we go to the lamp page. There it is, just like that, my orcish lamp. We still see the aurora in the background, but we can change that easily. We can just go to the page. Here I'm going to remove this padding and I'm just going to put full width and that's it. Here it is. And you see we have also the animation when I refresh, the lamp is coming closer to us. So this looks really cool if you plan to build some portfolio website or something like that. And the third one, we have our meteors. Here they are. So same thing like before, we already have everything from here, but we need to add a couple more animations and keyframes. So I'm going to tell with config and here in animation, I'm going to copy the meteor effect animation and I'm going to take the keyframes for our meteor and here I'm just going to paste it. So now we have the configuration ready and we can copy our meteors.tsx. Same thing like before, we are creating new file inside the components UI and I'm calling it meteors.tsx and pasting the entire component inside that file. I'm not sure why is this one not needed here, but I'm just going to remove it. And now I'm going to create again, new page and call it meteors. And there I'm going to put page.tsx and copy again and paste everything from here, except now we are going to place meteors here. So what we can do now, if we place meteors just like this, it is not going to look that good because we need to have some kind of wrapper. You see, now we have just meteors in falling on our Aurora background, but what we can do is go here and we can copy code from their example here. So we can take this whole thingy from them like this, and we are going to put it inside our page. And now when we go to that page, we have the exactly the same component like they have created. And again, I don't have to say it, this one looks really cool on any project. Join the Horde Warriors, like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, if you didn't know, there is a Discord channel Orc Dev. you have the invitation in the description below, where we talk about code, projects and technologies. You're welcome to join, so I hope I see you there.